Welcome back to my channel. We are talking skincare again. I know I'm trying to balance it out here, but um, I recently traveled a lot and when I was on the flight to Los Angeles, I felt bougie and bought some crappy Wi-Fi. So obviously I opened up Instagram and I sent out kind of a poll asking if you guys wanted to see my in-flight skincare routine. A lot of people said yes. And I also got half a dozen of DMs asking me, do you do skincare during your flight? Hell friggin' yes, um, that's the best time to do your skincare because you're stuck there for five, six, eight hours. So that made me think maybe I should do a YouTube video detailing my in-flight beauty routine. This is mostly for a medium haul flight, five hours, like from Toronto to Los Angeles is about five hours and 15 minutes in the air or something like that. So let's just jump right into what my beauty routine looks like when I'm in flight. I do check a bag because I get um, a free check bag with Air Canada. So the skincare that I put in my carry-on is exclusively for my in-flight routine. So that's why it looks very minimal or for some people it might look very minimal. But it's in this ugly like clear Dollarama bag that's on its last legs. But I used to use Ziplocs and then put it in a cute bag. But I found the Ziplocs got dirty very quickly and I was producing way too much plastic. This I've had for over a year um, and I probably should get a new one. But until until the, the zipper breaks, I'm going to keep using it. I do have this cute one for all my like uh, cotton pads, Kleenex, and miscellaneous things I want to bring on the plane though. So once the seatbelt sign is off right after takeoff, that's when I start setting up. Um, the first thing I do is I wipe down the table in front of me because that's mostly where I'll be working. I usually have these like antimicrobial wipes, but I ran out because I recently flew. So that's a reminder to stock up. And then I um, sanitize my hands because there's nothing more gross than an airport. I'm using the one from the body shop. It's the Satsuma scent which smells deliciously like oranges um, but normally I have a non-scented one for the plane just because I want to be um, respectful of my neighbors. Um, this is the one that I had recently just because I ran out. And then the next thing I do is I put something like an oil in my hair and I pull it back. A few things when it comes to hair that I always always travel with um, it's either I alter I tend to alternate a lot because I have a lot of things to go through but it's the way hair oil I really love this it smells so good it smells like peonies to me but this time around I went with the Moroccan oil hair treatment just because it's a super compact um, packaging I'll usually just wet the tips of my fingers with the oil just because it can get really oily and I'll start at the ends of my hair because I don't want my scalp to get too greasy right away. I have a lot of hair so I can do this a few times. So this smells pretty intense but it smells so good so like I said I try to be very respectful of my neighbors. Some people might feel shy like I've totally felt shy the first time I did this on a plane but after you do it a couple times you're like eh whatever. I always uh, book a window seat um, so I'm usually like in my little corner, I have everything set up and I don't make too much noise and I'm not like out here rubbing my hair and have my elbow in their face. So as long as you're respectful of your neighbors, nobody really cares. Some women have asked me about certain products that I'm using and I've shared some of the stuff with my seatmate. Um, so it's fun, it's good conversation if you like that. The last thing I do when it comes to my hair before I move on to the other steps is I braid it. And this kind of keeps the treatment in place. It keeps my curly hair looking pretty good during the flight and of course out of the way when I'm going to be doing my skincare. I'm not very good at braiding so I just kind of do whatever. When it comes to my skincare, I'm usually really slow and elaborate with everything just because it's going to be a long flight. I'm usually either watching something or answering emails. Like my airport style right now, I'm just wearing concealer and sunscreen. I'm not trying to impress anybody at the at the airport so I'm gonna take that off first before I do anything. I normally stick to my favorite Missler water from Garnier. They do have travel size version. This is 125 milliliters and some of you notice in my stories but I had it half full so maybe that's why the TSA let me go through with it. And normally they have 100 mil like a three ounce one. I usually have my nice little mirror and then I'll take off the sunscreen and whatever whatever concealer I have on. Flip it over and don't forget your neck. Here's a tip when you're producing too much garbage, like normally you know like the 
puke bag that they have I usually take that out and prep it in front of my seat so that way I can throw things in the garbage as I use them just so that I don't create a mess again so I don't draw too much attention to myself I just need a bit depending on how bougie I feel that day I usually go in with a lip uh, scrub this one from fresh sugar lip polish is very very subtle and easy to use I'll just take like a little bit and rub my lips and you can wipe this off with like a cotton pad again or you could eat it I think you can eat it I've eaten it before and I'm not dead yet so right after scrubbing my lips they do feel a little dry so I'll go in uh, super quickly with the fresh sugar lip advanced treatment this is not a lip balm it's more of a lip therapy so it seeps into the lips very quickly and very deeply I'm gonna go in with my favorite lip balm which is from the fresh sugar lip caramel lip balm this smells delicious Once I'm done with my lips, that's when I start to work on my face. Most of the time, I'll stick to a hydrating clear mask that I will keep on the like 80% of the flight. This time around, the one that I went for was the Charlotte Tilbury Multi Miracle Glow. This thing is actually amazing. You could use this as cleanser, a face mask, a primer. Like I don't even know how. This actually has a nice clear uh, finish to it. You will look a little shiny. Um, if you're shy, but it doesn't leave like you're not putting on a legit uh, Mask on your face if again, you're shy another one that I really like that I've used before is the rose fresh mask uh, But that leaves a little bit of a brown tint uh, Another one I really like is from Clinique their moisture surge mask. That's really good The main theme here is that I use a mask that's very hydrating and also, if you don't want to buy wipes, you can always use your micellar water to, to wash your hands. I do this every once in a while once I feel like I have too much products on my hands. Okay, now that I have my face mask on, I'll do usually two more things before I kind of just settle and pack my stuff away. I'm going to put on an eye cream, but I'm going to put on a thick layer um, to create sort of a mask. I use this new one from Dior. It's their Cooling Hydration Sorbet Eye Gel. I really like it. It has like a really nice tip to it. So I'm going to apply a thick layer. Whoa, that's a lot, but it's okay. I did say thick. Oh my god. Move on to the final step. Well, kind of, for my face anyways. If I have any breakouts, this is a part where I'll put in like a little acne treatment. Right now, I'm friggin' obsessed with this Origin Spot treatment. Sorry, super spot remover. It's very small, so you can travel with it. But I discovered it like two days right before my flight, and I bought another one just to keep in my beauty bag, I guess. Can't remember what the active ingredients are in here, but this is one of the best spot removers I've ever tried. So I'll spot treat. Like I'll over spot treat. If I feel like there's something happening, I'll friggin' put layers of this on because like I said I break out during the plane ride it's insane the two things I really like to have on the plane with me is this Lano Lips Rose Hydration Intense Cream um, super hydrating and seeps into the, hand, into the hands very well and then I usually bring a like a travel size version of the Drunk Elephant Virgin Marula Oil I do use this on my face but this is actually a multi-purpose oil like you can use this on your cuticles on your hair on your eyebrows on your lips so I always have this on me so this is what I'm gonna use on my cuticles right now so usually I'll where was I FedEx just interrupted me but this is the hand cream that I really like I've been using it it's very thin and non bulky so I slip it in uh, into my bag and then I don't have to worry about it so like I said it dries like super quickly on the hands and doesn't feel greasy and then I'll take my virgin marula oil I'll usually put a little bit on my finger and then I'll dab it on my cuticles this is the best time to watch a movie and not touch anything because I don't know if you guys can see but you're gonna look a little greasy and that kind of wraps up the in like in the air portion of my skincare routine so once I hear that announcement or when I realize there's about an hour left um, some planes have that map uh, I'll start to take everything off and prep for landing I never really have to get out of my seat to do this because um, there's nothing for me to wash off not that I want plain water on my face anyways. 
Once I have my full like little eye mask and face masks off, I'll go in with my face moisturizer, which right now is the Silk Cream from Tatcha. Uh, because my face is really moisturized and very hydrated, I usually just put like a little bit on my face. It's very lightweight. It's literally silky as the name suggests. And because my eye area is already super hydrated because I use the eye cream, I'm not gonna put more eye cream on. I'm just gonna jump right into the concealer portion. Right now, I'm trying the super fancy Quai de Peau, uh, what is this, corrector or concealer broad spectrum. It has 25 SPF. It's a stick form, so it's very um, easy to use in the plane. <laughs> I know it's fancy, but they sent it to me and I kind of freaked out and had to bring it with me. So this is where I would conceal, or this is the part where I would conceal. I don't usually wear too much makeup when I'm traveling just because, again, there's higher chances of me breaking out during that time. So I usually want to keep my skin as fresh as possible. And the last few things that I like to do is I'll touch up my brows and I might put an eyeshadow stick on for a little bit of color. So I'm just gonna brush my brows right now. This is the Charlotte Tilbury eyebrow pencil, which I absolutely love. I think this is in shade, I'm not sure what shade this is in. Supermodel, is that the shade? Anyways, I brush my brows, nothing too crazy because I literally have nothing on my eyes. Once my brows are on, I'll usually take a eyeshadow stick and just put a light layer of color on. This one I'm loving from the Dior Show Cooling Stick. It's in shade 001. I'm sure it has a name, but I don't know what it is. It's a nice taupey brown. I'll just start at the center of my eyelids and then I'll work it out. Again, I'm not like, this is not a look, just a hint of color. I usually start at the base of my lashes to make it kind of smoky. You probably can't even see it on camera. But that's the whole point, really natural makeup. Perfect. And I, keep, I feel like I kept saying final thing and I had more things to come, but actually the last thing I'll do is I'll curl my lashes just because I have um, really straight lashes. I don't want to wear mascara. I don't want to put on mascara on the plane just in case there's turbulence and then it ends up in my eye. Um, but I'll do this. If I feel like the plane is smooth sailing, I'll curl my lashes. This is a good way to pretend to be awake, truthfully. And now I'm ready to take over Los Angeles. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> and of course, I'll get my hair out of the braid. Um, usually at that point, I feel like the oils already seeped in and I don't have to really worry about it. And that wraps up my in-flight beauty routine. Some people might think it's a little elaborate for a plane ride, but like I said, um, as long as you create yourself a little comfortable corner, it's super easy to use all of this. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please let me know. And as always, I'm happy to have you here. If you could subscribe and give this video a like, I would really appreciate it. And I'll hopefully see you very soon.